Okay, so from here we click done. So from PVT data input section, we go to the next section, which is IPR data section. Okay, we have several models. Jones for Kamer, back pressure, CNN, and others. But in this video, we will try this one, petroleum experts. All right, a specific correlation developed by this one, this company, petroleum experts. And for the mechanical geometric skin, we will use enter skin by hand. All right. Okay, so now we need to provide the reservoir data first. The reservoir pressure is 2,750 PSIG with temperature of 165, zero water gas ratio and zero condensate gas ratio with compaction permeability model, no. All right, now the model data, reservoir permeability, for example, 25 millidarcies, the reservoir thickness, the net pay thickness, 55 feet. Drainage area, for example, you perform pressure transient analysis and you detect the reservoir boundaries, then you estimate the drainage area, or you can also check the geological map, or you can also check the adjacent producers. You can estimate the drainage area. And for example, our drainage area is 500 acres. DHF factor 31.6, assuming a radial, a circular reservoir, will be radius 0 0.354, perforation interval 45 feet. All right, we don't perforate all the reservoir thickness, only 45 feet. Time since production started, 100 days, for example. All right, so we need to consider the flow regime between the transient flow regime or pseudo steady state flow regime. And here we input time since production started to be 100 days. And now reservoir porosity, for example, 0.15 in fraction and Connaught water saturation 0.25 in fraction. All right. Okay, now the non-Darcy flow factor, D, will be calculated. So let's keep it blank like here, like this one. Beta factor method, original, permeability entered, total permeability. Okay, and for the mechanical geometric skin, we input two. All right, a mild formation damage we have. Okay, so from here we click calculate. All right, now we get this one, the AOF, the absolute open flow or maximum gas flow rate approaching 3000 million standard cubic feet per day. All right, quite high. And we can plot results, we can view results, but here we get this one, the D factor the non darcy flow factor, 0 0.0002084. Let's check the results, okay? You can copy everything and paste the data on your spreadsheet, the results on your spreadsheet. And this is the result for beta factor, calculated non darcy flow equation or correlation, I mean. All right, so we have beta and we have D factor. Done. And let's plot the result. I want to show only the pressure and rate right on the horizontal axis, X axis, whereas pressure on the Y axis. Uncheck the temperature. Click done. Let's wait. All right, so this is the IPR results. Because we have an injector well, so the IPR will be like this. All right, so it will be different from the IPR for producer, okay? So let's be careful there. This is the result for the IPR. 
IPR for an injector well, all right? Okay, so far so good. Click finish, click done. You can also check the other features like if you have send failure, you can open and you can input the data here. Okay, click cancel. And also the pseudo pressure table, all right? You can also plot if you have the other data, right? Click done. Okay. Done and also done. All right, so this is the IPR for our gas injector. And as usual, from the IPR data section, we will go to equipment data section. 